This is the 10th episode of The Art of Tapping, a combination of EFT tapping, expressive art therapy and NLP. Today I will talk about teaching EFT to kids again, this time with the help of a stuffed animal, the famous surrogate tapping pal Tappy Bear, dolls or drawings. Hi, it's Monica, your intuitive trauma transformation coach who helps you face and successfully navigate through the storms of life, guiding you through a most powerful self-healing process and teaching you all the mindfulness tools you need to embark on your journey to your core self and create the life you've always envisioned. Till Schilling, who invented the tabby bear together with his daughter, who after learning EFT started to sew buttons on her teddy, says, Over and over again, I have noticed that the real fears and obstructions in adults lie in childhood events. I want to encourage everybody, parents and therapists, to concentrate on these events with children. Tabby Bear is being used not only as a teaching tool, but also as a mirror image surrogate tapping pal. This guy here isn't the original. I was invited to do a presentation to parents about tapping with kids on very short notice. So I quickly ran into the next thrift store, picked up this little cute guy and provided him with some tapping points. It's so easy. Everybody can do it. And it doesn't have to be a teddy. Any stuffed animal or doll can be transformed into a tapping buddy. And you can also be creative. Drawing the picture of a superhero and mark the points. Tappy toys are tough. They can endure some anger punches or being thrown in the corner once in a while. Ouch! Tappy toys are loving and caring at the same time. They love to cuddle with or be cuddled by their little owners. Tappy toys can be the bridge between surrogate tapping and tapping on oneself. Because children may be reluctant to talking about their emotions and tapping at first. But even for us adults, everything becomes easier if we can transfer our problems to a tappy toy and it gladly accepts our burdens. The other big advantage is a change of perspective. We are stepping out of the I position into the he, she, they position. We can tap from the safe neutral observer position into the empathetic friend position and finish the tapping process with ourselves. Can you see how powerful this is? By implementing EFT into playing with children, they can transfer a troubling situation onto the toy while using some simple tapping to open a process through which calmness, contemplation and healing can begin. In a way, it's like play therapy, a psychodynamic technique involving the use of stuffed animals or dolls that enable kids to play out their traumas, hopes and dreams. Through dramatic play, children learn to overcome fear, gain perspective and develop originality and responsibility. It allows children to try out life, to imitate activities 
that interest them to understand new experiences and see how they feel. Children who are active in pretend play are usually more joyful and cooperative, more willing to share and take turns and have larger vocabularies than children who are less imaginative. Imaginative play helps youngsters to concentrate, to be attentive, empathetic and to use self-control. It enhances young children's intellectual, social, emotional and creative development while they learn new and more complex way to express themselves. They truly become conductors of enlightenment, expression and understanding. Storytelling works for adults as well. I remember being called by a therapist who wanted me to work with a young woman who was abused sexually in her childhood over an extended period of time. Even after a couple of years in therapy, she would insist on not being able to overcome this trauma and that it will always be the reason for failure in any area of her life. I explained storytelling to her and although she had journaled before, she refused to do what she called a ridiculous homework. But I wouldn't give up sharing with her my own healing stories. And finally, she completed the task. She had embedded three problems in her story and had found a solution to overcome each of them. After that, her life changed rapidly. She was able to become a successful woman entrepreneur. Isn't that just wonderful? Depending on age, we can do a setup like Even though this kid at school was really mean to me, I still like myself. Or, I am a cool kid. Even though I feel angry at my teacher, I choose to be calm when I'm doing my schoolwork. Even though I'm very nervous about giving that talk in front of the class on Tuesday, I choose to be calm and confident. But for younger kids, it's not even important that they tap the points in order or say how they feel out loud. And it's not important how many rounds they tap because they respond much, much, much quicker than adults. And last but not least, I am going to show you a short video on how quickly children may apply tapping regularly after experiencing how powerful it is in helping them overcome fears. I was working with a boy who was afraid of anything that's buzzing, especially bees. I taught him EFT tapping and we did several rounds together. A month later, her mom sent me the following video. Although it's a bit blurry, you will recognize him tapping to overcome his fear of heights and jumping from a cliff into the water. If you like this video, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Comment below. If you and your kids have already a success story to share with me. Bye bye, namaste and remember, peace begins with me.